Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and this is the uh, test of the MLA30 plus amplified magnetic loop antenna versus the original MLA30. So the MLA30 plus is what I got this week, you guys know it and it's uh, interesting to see how some, on some frequency ranges it's actually so much better than the original one. So here let's take as an example 660 kilohertz. So this is New York. This is a uh, New York sports station. So you see here the signal to noise ratio around 17 dB, 16, 17, S9 signal. And this is on the original MLA30. Uh, antenna B is the original MLA30. Now I'm going to switch to the MLA30 plus. Look at the uh, S meter on the upper right you, uh, of the frequency. Look how much cleaner it is. And, uh, Notice that the signal to noise and ratio and has moved from 17 decibels to, to 20, 21 decibels. This is really good. The higher the SNR, or signal to noise ratio, that means the better the signal compared to the noise in the background, to the noise floor. Really amazing uh, to see this. So of course there's propagation here taking into account. If I move back to the MLA30 original, like how signal is lower, noise is higher. Uh, let's go to 880 WCBS here. Last year, WCBS. And there's actually a tone that I noticed here. I don't know why. And let's go to antenna A. Pretty amazing. It's the call you make to take Try uh, other signals. So here it could be the uh, RF, RF gains over to a high. So let's take 1010. So this is 1010. It's a battle right now between uh, WINS in the US and uh, CFRB in Toronto. This is of course on the MLA 30 plus. Let's go to the uh, original MLA 30. So same battle but it's weaker WBZ in Boston 1030 kilohertz this is the original MLA 30 let's now go to the MLA 30 plus really I'm gonna throw this out because really a much better signal won all the games they got a gold and a much medal. better like, signal to those ratio this also and it was just, but whether they got gold well, a lot of you have been asking me if uh, you know I'm testing in the right the same conditions and if I switch the ports and everything yes of course I did all of that because one of the things you want to do is make sure that when you test the um, the baseline the things that you do the way it's plugged in everything is the same so of course I swapped ports for the antennas I changed the power supply I recreated the same conditions on both and there's absolutely no difference it's still the MLA 30 plus still performs better than the original MLA 30 so uh, here for example is Bloomberg, New York. We've been talking a lot about how the people most at risk are those that have underlying symptoms that we just and mentioned. And this is uh, elderly, but the WHO did tell us on Bloomberg yesterday that that doesn't mean this that is that uh, the MLA 30 plus on Bloomberg, New York, 1130 kilohertz medium wave. What have you heard about uh, children being affected? Yeah, Let's switch to the original MLA 30. Illness seems to be much more mild than certainly. Look at how signal is a little weaker. Signal to noise ratio is not as good. So um, yes, children are being infected. Um, we don't really know. Really interesting to see these results, actually. So called super spreaders. Really um, interesting. In other words, becoming infected then. So we could see it that wide, on. Widely to to others. Medium wave. Um, it does seem that they have a much 
the MLA 30 Plus has a big advantage over the uh, original MLA 30. Really, really nice to see this, and actually uh, impressive uh, when you think about it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.